Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a combined haul from L3. The pre-order that was from March, the end of March, the pre-order for March, and part one of the customer creation uh, contest winners um, on May 5th when uh, Jen and Trish offered the May flowers. That's um, in here too. So we have two, two, um, two hauls combined. I lost my train of thought. And um, my box came by UPS this time. So in, I think my entire purchase history of L3, which is crazy big, uh, long, I should say, I've never had a box shipped UPS. So bring it on. <laughs> I guess. Oh, okay. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Hope everyone has had a beautiful day. So uh, let's get started. The pre-order from um, March, I wanted to get a lot more than I did. And there were some really good samplers that uh, when uh, Jen and Trish decide to load the pre-order extras to the site, I might have to look over and grab a couple of, of samplers that I, I didn't grab this first time around. I was trying to be a little bit more frugal, honestly. Uh, and I, you know, I've, I've really been trying to make smaller orders, but this pre-order was amazing. There were chunks offered. I love when they make chunks. It's just, I, they're huge and you get multiple melts out of it. And it really gives you an opportunity to see how that blend shines in your home. So I have not, I've only opened the box. I haven't taken any of the stuff out and sniffed. So let's get started. I am just going to grab and go. No particular order, of course. Okay. First chunk is raspberry jam lemon curd zucchini bread lemon curd is such a strong citrus creamy blend and i love it this one this one smells like lemon curd with just a hint of bakery just a hint of that zucchini bread not getting too much raspberry jam but i'm going to let this cure a little bit because sometimes raspberry jam or raspberry needs a little bit of extra time in my in my opinion to really shine and then once this is warmed up we'll see how it how it goes so got that one this is a mini loaf this is lemon sugar creamy coconut yellow cake and zucchini bread so another another lemon coconut zucchini bread uh, concoction here. I'm really smelling that coconut. This is, that's nice. I love how the, the lemon sugar isn't as strong as lemon curd. Lemon curd is super strong, but the yellow cake is creamy. I love yellow cake. The zucchini bread, that's fantastic too, but the creamy coconut, I love the creamy coconut. It's not a tropical coconut. It's not warm. It's, it's like a bakery coconut, a sweetened coconut. This is a great one too. Let's see. Next. Holy moly. Look at how big these chunks are. Like it's bigger than the palm of my hand just about. This is, oh, it's immaculate. <laughs> Cherries and cream, cherry chip cake, buttercream frosting. Jen and Trish, if you're watching, you guys, the size of this chunk is, oh, that's a monster. Oh man. Holy moly. Okay. I know cherry scary. I love cherry stuff. Let's see this one here. Cherries and cream. I haven't smelled that before alone and I haven't smelled lemon sugar either. So maybe these are some new oils that they have. Let's see. I'm getting okay. Cherry chip cake. I love cherry chip cake. It's a creamy bakery cherry. It's not, it's not super cherry. It's a creamy bakery cherry. And buttercream frosting pulls a little fruity to me, and I'm not getting too much of that. This cherries and cream, it's different. It's not maraschino, and it's not, if you get cherry from pistachio, it's not that type of cherry. It is, I don't want to quite say it's cherry pie filling. It's different, but I like it. It smells like an authentic cherry with cream. It really does. Man, not only that, that's a monster. I know I've said that 10,000 times, but, ugh. Next, watermelon, pomegranate, lemon curd. Oh, I saw this one and I said, I have to grab that. I love, I love watermelon. Man, 
is this watermelon. Love watermelon. Love pomegranate. Pomegranate is so rich and bold and dense and juicy. I love pomegranate. And then lemon curd. Man, the watermelon is dominant in this. Watermelon with a hint of lemon. But I can still smell the richness of the pomegranate. This is fantastic. If you like watermelon, that is a great one. Oh, here's my spoonula. Because I got a scoop or two, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> there is my sample bag. We'll do that last. I always do those last. Okay. Yellow cake, lemon pound cake, cream cheese frosting, and lemon curd. Ooh, I got a lot of lemon stuff this time, I know. Jen had a lot of lemon blends. Let's see. Yellow cake, lemon pound cake, cream cheese frosting, lemon curd. Lemon heavy. Yes, this is lemon, but it's creamy lemon bakery. I definitely get that cream cheese frosting. Cream cheese frosting is so good. And I'm getting that yellow cake really tones down that lemon punch that you can get from Lemon Scents and Lemon Bakery. This is fantastic. Oh, is that good? I love lemon. Oh, man. Love, love, love lemon. Okay. Cocoa butter cashmere. Whole Vanilla Beans Baccarat Rouge 540. Okay. Oh. Wow. That smells so good. So, Baccarat Rouge 540. I pretty much have retired from trying to describe how it smells to somebody. Other than it's smoky, it's sultry, it's different. But it's meant to be. Because Baccarat is not just a cheap company. Most people can't afford to shop there unless you're the ultra rich. So you're going to have a rich smelling, a sophisticated, elite, classy smelling fragrance. So the cocoa butter cashmere is sultry, it's sensual, it's creamy, it's comforting. That is blended very well with this. And that extra bit of vanilla just accents Baccarat so well. And it accents the cocoa butter cashmere so well. And another monster chunk. Look at that boy. Oh, man. This is good. I'm so happy I ordered these chunks. So happy. Next, we have blue Hawaiian, blue raspberry jello, and lemon curd. So I had blue Hawaiian in a sample, and I loved it. It has a little bit, it's a little bit fruity. I think it, I can't remember the notes of it right now, but it's a single oil. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. So when I saw blue Hawaiian, I wanted to grab this because I thought, hmm, mix with blue raspberry jello and lemon curd. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Oh, Man, first sniffs. I love doing first sniffs on camera because this is super authentic. I love this. I love this. Oh, I can geek out on camera too. <laughs> so this one, how would I describe this to you? I'm getting blue Hawaiian. It's tropical. And the blue raspberry jello is blue raspberry jello. The lemon curd it's creamy, but it complements that blue Hawaiian so well. Oh, man. This is phenomenal. Super good. Okay. We have... Pink Sugar, Baccarat Rouge 540, and Warm Vanilla Sugar. I love Baccarat Rouge 540 and Warm Vanilla Sugar. And honestly, Warm... Warm Vanilla Sugar, Bath & Body Works, of course. That is my favorite vanilla to use in, in wax. I prefer it over Vanilla Bean Noel. And I prefer it over, what's the other one that's used a lot? Uh, vanilla, vanilla Bean, even. Uh, vanilla Bean Noel, definitely. A warm Vanilla Sugar is much, much better to me, to me, in, in wax. And especially if you're using it as a vanilla blender. So, this one. I get the, the pink sugar, but I get the Baccarat right there in the background. And the warm vanilla sugar, the warmth and the, the caramel scent that you get from warm vanilla sugar is there. This is pretty seamless. All three of these, I get all three of these in Sniff on Cold. That's fantastic. Oh, when that's cured up, oh man, that's going to be, that's going to be great. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to do all my chunks first. All the packing peanuts are in here still. 
Okay, how many chunk? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, two. I have two more chunks left, I think. Okay, this next one, buttermilk. I have my invoice right here. That's what I'm, what I'm looking at. I haven't lost my mind. This is buttermilk pie, lemon curd, rice krispies. So first of all, her rice krispies, I don't know how Jen or Trish or whoever blends that up, I don't know how they can get the rice krispies to really come through in every blend that it's in. It's it's phenomenal. It's wonderful. I love Rice Krispies. I hope they pour it in Trig Tarts by itself sometime because I would snatch up a few of those. It's so good. And buttermilk pie is it it you know is a killer popular blend and it's so good. It's that nice rich vanilla custard scent. I actually like it and I'm not a super vanilla person. I love buttermilk pie. So let's see what this one smells like. The lemon curd, what this kind of smells like is a lemon tart. If you've ever had a lemon tart, uh, you know, dessert or, um, or even even a lemon, lemon, lemon cream dessert, I should say, this kind of takes on that identity. It kind of also smells like lemon pudding. If you, ha you have that creaminess and that sweetness, well, but with that lemon, that smells so good. The Rice Krispies, I'm getting just the tiniest hint of it, but maybe it's because it's with lemon. I have not had Rice Krispie and lemon before, but lemon is so, lemon is so powerful. So maybe this will come out on warm because the ones I've had in the past with Rice Krispies, I found that warmed up, I was able to smell those notes a little bit more distinctly. So let's let's hope that's the case with this because I do love 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 uh, Rice Krispies. I'm looking for my other, I'm looking for my other chunk. I think I found it here. Yep, that's it. Okay, last chunk. This is Rose Jam, which is a lush scent. Rose Jam, Baccarat Rouge 540, and American Cream. American Cream is also a lush scent. So let's see what this one smells like. I like that. It's rose jam heavy. Rose jam is floral. It's rose. I love, but I love the smell of roses. I think throughout my life, I didn't really care for roses as a kid. You know, you think about roses and you think about, I don't want to say old lady or grandma. I don't mean that in a, in a, the least bit of disrespect. I don't mean that. But as I got older and I really realized what roses represent and I really took the time to smell the fragrance of a rose. Roses, I love the smell of roses. I love the smell of roses. My aunt and uncle, they have been married for, let's see, almost um, 63, 64 years, somewhere around there. My uncle is 93 or 94 and my aunt is 87, almost 88. You know, they're, they're elderly. Um, when he back, he, he is, he's on oxygen now and he doesn't leave his house uh, alone anymore. But when he was able to go out every, every year on my aunt's birthday and every year on their anniversary, she got a dozen of yellow roses and yellow roses are her favorite. And I really, I thought, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't really realize those gestures, you know, throughout your life, throughout your marriage, your relationship, whatever, what, whatever. And I really, I, I looked at their marriage as something that I wanted for myself. And that gesture of just giving roses, I learned to smell and appreciate the rose. And he doesn't give flowers any other time of year but those two occasions. And so it makes you appreciate the smell of that more. So I smell a rose and I think about how beautiful it is, how delicate the petals are, and just how lovely that fragrance is that, you know, the earth has given us the, the, the beauty. So this is, sorry for the sidebar there, but this is very heavy rose, but I love it. If you like roses, you would like this. If you like rose jam, you would like this. I'm not getting so much Baccarat, but this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful fragrance. I would buy more of this, really, because it's authentic rose. So, so good. And it's beautiful with the pink and the cream. So beautiful. I think that's all my chunks. Okay, let's just keep digging. Okay, I got a clam of Love Affair. Let's see if Love Affair... I got that last style on the 5th. I remember putting that in my cart. 
Love Affair is warm vanilla sugar, haha, <laughs> warm vanilla sugar, shortbread cookies, and zucchini bread. And I think there was some talk in the group about how this one was amazing. I don't know if Darietta or Tam was talking about this, but I said, mmm, Love Affair. I'm going to grab it and try it. That smells good. It's zucchini bread. Definitely zucchini bread. And what is it? Warm vanilla sugar. I just read it, but sometimes my... I need to look at it again. Uh, warm vanilla sugar, shortbread cookies, and zucchini bread. Sorry. I'm getting the shortbread cookies and the zucchini bread, but the spice of the zucchini bread is pretty much, you know, creamed down by that warm vanilla sugar and that shortbread. That is nice. They know what they're doing. And thank you to whoever posted about Love Affair. Fantastic. Okay. I got several of these Mayflowers. And why I, I, some of these I bought duplicates in just because they're small, you know, that they're, they're just only like, you know, two to three ounces. And you know, you can chop this up nice and you can put this throughout your home and you can get lots going at this. Um, Jen and Trish opened up their spring, opened up their spring, um, customer creation contest, um, in the end of April, you know, the end of April to May. And there were so many entries. It took Jen so an extra long time to figure out the winners. And, you know, I submitted some blends there and a couple of mine were chosen. The first one is Graham Canyon. Now, why this one, why I was inspired to do this one is there is a creamery out here in Utah and they have Graham Canyon as one of their scents, uh, scents, sorry one of their flavors of ice cream. And their version is a graham cracker flavored ice cream, chocolate covered honeycomb, graham cracker bits, uh, I think marshmallow and some other chocolate in there. It is phenomenal. It's fantastic. It's delicious. I love it. And unfortunately, you know, all of those that are in the real ice cream don't exist in wax. So I had to, I wanted to see if I could make something um, similar. So this is vanilla ice cream butterscotch, caramel, graham crackers, whipped cream, and marshmallow. So the caramel and the butterscotch already out the gate. Those are strong oils. And the rest were added just to, you know, cream it down a little bit. So this one, if you like butterscotch and you like caramel, you would like this one. This is, this is good. I like this. Not just because it was something from my brain, but this is good. I like this. You could even, I think I could even, you know, blend this with zucchini bread, blend it with yellow cake, white cake. You could blend this with a lot of things, you know, to tone that, because it is pretty heavy butterscotch. You could blend it to tone it down a little bit. I did get three of these, so I'm going to, I'm going to play an experiment with this just to see what I can come up with. That is good. I do like, I do like Graham Canyon. That is good. Okay. Want to make sure the bag is closed. Sometimes these little guys, the seal on here. Okay. Next one. Island Punch. And I know some of these are, uh, some of these are customer creation winners. Actually, I'll tell you this. When she offered the Mayflowers, she poured um, half of the blends or, you know, roughly half of the blends that won in the Mayflowers and the rest were poured, um, this past Friday for, um, that ready to ship sale. Uh, one blend was poured in puppy packs and I believe the rest were poured in the bougie bars. So I did buy a handful of stuff from Friday. I didn't buy everybody's blend, but since these were Mayflowers and I know they were small, I did buy everybody's blend in the Mayflowers that was a uh, port because I loved every single one of them. And I, I thought, hey, that's a nice size to offer. It's not as small as the bunnies were, and it's um, they're bigger than the the Halloween shapes that were offered. And then it, it's also kind of equivalent to the the sweethearts that for offered for Valentine's Day, uh, and a little bit into March. I love the sweethearts. I can get eight cuts out of that. So this might be six cuts, eight depending on the scent. So this is Tangerine Dreams strawberry, raspberry guava, and Dole Whip. Why I grabbed this is because I love Dole Whip, that pineapple and vanilla ice cream. Let's see. Yep, that Dole Whip. I thought with these, I haven't smelled Tangerine Dreams 
and I know that it's not Satsuma. Satsuma is tangerine, and sometimes I don't like Satsuma. So if this was anything, if this was Satsuma, I probably would have stayed away from it because sometimes Satsuma makes me nauseous. I'm just going to tell you that some scents are, you know, make us react different ways, and some scents we could tolerate in the past and we can't anymore. So this one, that dole whip is strong and i get a little bit of the guava from the strawberry guava or excuse me the i don't know if it's strawberry raspberry guava or strawberry comma raspberry guava not sure but nonetheless i smell guava but that dole whip i have several dole whip blends that are ready to be ready to be melted but let's face it um we all have a lot of wax for the most part so <laughs> getting getting to melt it at one time is uh it, you know, I, I'll probably melt it at the end of summer. Let's face it. Another Graham Canyon. And let's see. Muffin Man. Muffin Man. If you want to know something cute about my husband and Poppy, my husband calls Poppy Muffin. Amongst her many nicknames, Muffin is one of the ones. Sorry, Marty. She's our baby, so I can talk about her. So, Lemon Poppy Seed. Aw, oh, Poppy. <laughs> Lemon poppy seed, coffee bean, blueberry sugar, sugar cookie royale. Now, I typically don't care for strawberry, for sh blueberry sugar, sorry. But the fact that coffee bean is in here and lemon poppy seed, I thought I've got to try that. I have not had that combination. So this one, yes, it's coffee. It's coffee bean dominant. Oh man, this is good. I'm getting coffee bean. A little bit, a little bit of blueberry, not too much, but I get lemon, a little bit of lemon. This is interesting. Ah, I should have got two of these. Maybe I did. I don't, I got two of a couple of these. I don't remember, but this is good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. If this was a blend creation, bravo on that one. Pink sugar, sugar cookie dough, zucchini bread. Now I'm typically, I'm not a person that will melt pink sugar independently. I'll melt it in a blend. I, it's too sweet for me. Kind of like cotton candy. I don't talk about a lot of cotton candy blends because frankly, cotton candy is too sweet for me. It's too it, coyingly cavity inducing sweet for me. If it's in a blend, I might, I might try it out. Like I just finished a scoop of spearmint, peppermint, cotton candy frosting. But with that, the mints were so strong and it kind of toned down that sweetness of the cotton candy frosting. I know a lot of you guys out there love cotton candy and I'm glad it makes you happy. Give me all the earthy, give me the dirt, give me the patchouli because I go to town with that stuff when I know not a lot of other people really do. So it's, it's an exchange. But pink sugar, I've never had pink sugar with zucchini bread. Now my favorite pink sugar blend to date is pink sugar pie crust warm vanilla sugar from L3. It's phenomenal. I love it. I have a loaf. Maybe two. I don't remember. It's it's phenomenal. It's strong. So let's see what this one does. Oh, is that nice? Sugar cookie dough. I actually like sugar cookie dough a little bit more than sugar cookie royale because it's a little it's not as sweet as a sugar cookie royale is to me it's a little bit buttery so this here the zucchini bread it comes through but in the same sniff you get the pink sugar but not the sweetness of the pink sugar but just some of the base notes that let you know hey it's a pink sugar blend but the zucchini bread is is so strong in here it blends well so beautifully. This is fantastic. Oh, I'm glad I grabbed this one. And it's pink. I love pink. Oh, yes. Okay. Time for some sugar. I know this is Lisa Ferranti's blend. I remember that. So, um, raspberry jam, vanilla butter fudge, sugar cookie royale, and vanilla ice cream. She loves her strawberry and loves her raspberry. So, this one. I have, you know, this is the, I haven't smelled raspberry jam from L3 before alone. So I don't know if it's floral or not. I will be honest with you. This raspberry jam smells floral to me. Now, raspberry, you got to remember raspberry, natural raspberries and the smell of raspberries, they are floral. They are 
They are perfumey. They do have that. That's just natural part of the plant. So sometimes it, it's hard. I've, I've read about this. It's hard to get the extract from a raspberry without having it have those floral tones to it. So that's why raspberry is so tough. People pull floral from it. They pull perfume from it. It's just, it's very, very hard to get raspberry to smell like a raspberry tastes essentially you know i think i hope that i explained that it, that's my comprehension at least of why raspberry you know is so i don't want to say controversial but it's so borderline between oh it smells like floral oh it doesn't smell like perfume it, it's tough but this one does smell like floral to me so but i don't mind it i don't i don't mind a floral raspberry i don't but if you're looking for an authentic jam this to me it's not it's not this so if you're interested in what it smells like next time raspberry jam is poured in a trig tart or the next time jen and trish ask for a trig tart requests if you're interested in smelling it alone how do you know unless you try the worst that can happen is you know you pass it along to somebody else or you put it in a garbage can i mean i've thrown stuff away i've passed plenty of wax along uh, to my wax friends you know and i have several several packages right now waiting to go to the post office i i i do i i melt something and if marty isn't crazy about it i don't want to melt something that offends my husband and sometimes it's just you know i'm not crazy about it either so i do move things along and i'm not afraid to try something once i mean it's just it's kind of like food when you're a kid you know try something you might like it something i hated as a kid was vegetable soup uh, my mom's vegetable soup but now it's fantastic i love it it's it's the same or it's like you know how we mature through life, our tastes mature, our nose preferences mature. So how do you know unless you try? That's my, that's my spiel on raspberry. So I'm getting a little bit of the vanilla butter fudge, but this raspberry jam is pretty dominant in this one. So that one's pretty, pretty singular. Okay. I got two of these because I didn't know if it would be floral raspberry or jammy raspberry. But what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to blend it with some um, zucchini bread because I have plenty of zucchini bread in my house of L3. So I'm going to blend that with some zucchini bread and that will be, it'll be a little less floral, a little bit more bakery. So nothing wrong with that scent. It's just, I'm just trying to be honest with you. High class biatch. I love this name. <laughs> This is Baccarat Rouge 540 Cashmere Cedar and Vanilla Lace. Vanilla Lace is the Victoria's Secret blend um, scent, I should say, from the 90s that everybody wore, it seems like. Mmm. That Baccarat Rouge 540 and the Cashmere Cedar are perfect. Perfect together. This is a great blend. Great, 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 great customer. I know this was a customer creation blend. Fantastic so good and vanilla lace is just there in the background just to add a little bit of touch of, of vanilla lace to me is a feminine vanilla and it's not my favorite but if it's in a blend i mean i'll take it it's not a bakery vanilla it's a it's a perfume vanilla so this is beautiful i love that you get just enough cashmere cedar and you get that baccarat rouge this is good i should have bought two of those did i we'll see <laughs> Oh, man. Ah, wild berry mousse, sugar cookie dough, zucchini bread. Yum, 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 yum. We have been waiting for wild berry mousse to come back in stock. Jen and Trish have been out of it for a little while, and we've been waiting. We've been asking, when is it back? Is it back? Is it back? So uh, they poured this last minute in the flowers. So this one is wild berry mousse but that sugar cookie dough tones this down sweetens it up just a little bit and then that zucchini bread rounds it out with a little bit of a spice and that heavy cream scent from the zucchini bread this is fantastic oh yummy 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 i love wild berry mousse now i i really wasn't crazy about it at the beginning of my wax journey two years ago but i love it now i know i bought more than i know i bought more than one of that one ozark and I think the person who created this, um, you know, posted in a group the other day when she got her order that she was blown away by this, by this coming to life. And, um, you know, if you know me, you'll know why I grabbed this. Bonsai, dirt, fresh cut grass, 
sea salt and blue spruce. Lots of earthy, lots of fresh going on here. I love me some dirt and I love, I love, love, love grass. Love grass. Oh, is that nice? That's, this is, this is great. Bonsai. Bonsai is a very strong, very, very cleansing scent to the nose. It's green. It's fresh. It's fantastic. Grass, fresh cut grass is so good this time of year. It's sweet. It smells like grass, but I love the smell of grass. Oh, love the smell of grass. Uh, dirt, that little bit of dirt. I love the smell of dirt. I love the smell of the earth. I, I feel I'm, I'm connected to our earth. I'm grounded by our earth, our soil. I love it. That's just something that's personal to me. And it's, it's so good. This is fantastic. And then a the little bit of pine from the spruce. It's just enough there. It's just a hint of that. Whoever blended this at L3, bravo, bravo. And whoever thought about this, bravo. Definitely jealous this didn't come from my brain, but live it up, honey. This is fantastic. So, so good. Great job. I got two of these. Thank goodness. I knew it was going to be good. I just knew it was going to be good. Okay. My wild berry mousse. I got three wild berry mousse. I know I did. Because what I'm going to do, when I get multiple of these, I chop them all up at the same time and I put them in a larger bag just because it's easier. Um, and, you know, I might just chop one up and try it. And uh, not that I, I'm going to love this scent. It's not that. But sometimes I chop it up and put it in a larger bag just because I know I'm going to use through it. I did that with my, um, uh, what was poured the other couple of months ago. It was... Um, Cupboard under the stairs, cupboard under the stairs, and uh, I've got, I put a spell on you. Those are, that's fantastic. So I got three or four cloud cakes. I chopped them all up and I have them in a bag and I'm using from it because it's just so good. These, oh, so good. My other Graham Canyon, that makes my three Graham Canyons. Lemony Strawberry Snicket. This is Mr. J. Alfred's blend. I remember that because Jay didn't even get a chance to grab his when it was originally poured. <laughs> it sold out. So this one, I know, was also poured again this past week in Bougie Bars. So this one is Lemon Pound Cake, Strawberry Pound Cake, Lemon Curd, and Fresh Picked Strawberries. Jay is not a bakery person. He's, he's not a bakery fan, but he loves his strawberry and loves his lemon. So let's see what this one does. This is nice. It's just a touch, a touch of bakery. It's more lemon. It's more strawberry, like the actual fruit, you know, the citrus and the fruit. But I get a little bit of the pound cake in there. It's creamy. It's good. It's delicious. Great job, Jay. Fantastic creation. Love that one. Okay. Here's my Laffy Taffy and Cherry. Laffy Taffy. Okay. Give me all the carbs. This was another creation. This is fresh baked bread, zucchini bread, cinnamon sugar, and pretzel. Lots of yumminess going on there. I love all of these. Okay, the most dominant in here is the fresh break bread and the cinnamon sugar. I'm not getting too much pretzel. Jen has her pretzel oil made just for her. It's it's a it's a house blend special oil. I, I think I read that on her website at least. If I'm wrong, sorry, but I thought I read that on her site. This fresh baked bread is it's good. It is good. And the cinnamon sugar is sweet cinnamon. It's, it's, you know, cinnamon sugar. It's not, it's not spicy cinnamon by any means. The zucchini bread is just there in the background, giving a little bit of extra bump of bakery. This is a great one too. Good job. Good job on that one. Cocoa nuts. Cocoa nuts. This is coconut cream pie, sweet cream. Love sweet cream. Sweet cream is so, so good. Anyways, coconut cream pie, sweet cream, pistachio macaroon, and vanilla ice cream. This one. That's, that is nice. That, oh, that is nice. That coconut cream pie and that sweet cream. The pistachio macaroon is not pistachio cherry almond pistachio. It's actually a cookie scent to me, at least. 
this one. Ah, oh, the creaminess. It's creamy. It's good. It's fantastic. You have the vanilla ice cream, the sweet cream, and the coconut cream pie. Very creamy. Bravo on this one. Super good. I got a lot of wax this time. Oh man. But I'm coming. I'm tapering down on purchasing wax all around vendors uh, for the summer. You know, just to just because of the weather. Even though I haven't had anything really melt, I've had a few smudgy um, boxes come. So especially with another vendor that has soft wax, uh, I've got to decide if I'm going to order. I but I I made my last uh, L3 order on Friday, and I'm going to just you know sparingly here and there I have to I, I need to use my wax and I need to you know take a break so you won't see as many L3 hauls for me shipwrecked this is black sea driftwood and salty sea air I got this one because I don't know if this is a customer creation contest is this let me see here I'm looking Shipwrecked. Where are you? Maybe this is. Yeah, I think this this is. Shipwrecked. Yes, that's a customer creation blend. This is good. This I got this because I like salty sea air and I like the driftwood. This is fresh. It's not. It's not oceanic and it's not. It's not aquatic. It's it's fresh. The salty sea air is salty. It's fresh. It is perfect it blends very very well with everything the black sea i'm not too sure what the notes are in black sea but this works very very well and the driftwood has a little bit of fresh components to it too i used it in a couple of blends in my customs in the past and it does add that little extra something great job on this one saltwater goddess saltwater mermaid goddess of the sea and copper tone Copper tone usually takes over a blend. Let's see. The cop, oh man, you know, the copper tone is very balanced in this one. I'm getting the saltwater mermaid and the goddess of the sea. I'm not sure what exactly is in goddess of the sea. I don't know if that's an oil or if it's a blend, a house blend of gens. And the copper tone, of course, is the sunscreen. This is nice. I'm going to get this going for summer this year because this is a salt. Well, I love saltwater mermaid. It's so it's a creamy, fresh aquatic scent, I guess I should say. I, I really, really, really like that. Mermaid munchies is another good one, too. This I like that one. That that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty fresh scent. Boston cream pie brownie batter. I know. I don't do chocolate and wax, but sometimes I experiment and see if it's something I like. Brownie batter, yellow cake, vanilla butter fudge, brown sugar pound cake. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Brownie batter. Holy hell. Brownie batter. It really, it smells just like you're making a batch of brownies when you're stirring it and that chocolate is just, you know, wafting, wafting from the bowl to your nose. This is authentic chocolate. Oh my goodness. I better mark it down on the calendar. I got a chocolate wax I like. It's, it's a big, it's a big day, big day because most stuff that has chocolate in it, I'm, ugh, the only the only chocolate wax I have found that I like is from Better Homes and Gardens. I think it's what is it? Brownie pecan pie. I think it's it's the it's it's the cheapest wax known to man, you know, from Walmart. That's the only chocolate wax I have liked until this one. Oh my goodness. Whoever created this, I owe you a huge hug. This is fantastic. The brownie batter. I'm not even getting much of the other stuff it's but it all works butter brown sugar pound cake is creamy it's delicious it's so rich i love it this oh when i want a brownie i'm just gonna smell this because this really smells like a brownie it does oh man i'm gonna blend boston cream pie with graham canyon 
butterscotch and brownie. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. Custard cream cakes. I think I got two of these because, yes, I did. Because of this. Strawberry cream cheese cake. Excuse me. Strawberry cream cheese cake batter. Sugar milk cupcakes at Tiffany's. I love strawberry scents. And I've used a lot of my L3 strawberry up. So I'm, you know, slowly putting more back in my collection. But like I said, this is a this is a big order. And I'm not going to order for a while. You know, it's <laughs> No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be saying that. But you know, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. This smells like strawberries. This is good. Not getting too much sugar milk. I'm getting the the bakery strawberry. This is good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of strawberry bread. Similar, like a cousin of strawberry bread. This smells good. That is fantastic. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I got two of those. Deo. Deo. Harry Belafonte. He just passed away a few weeks ago. This is banana nilla wafer. Or I should say banana nilla wafer. Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Cream Cheese Frosting. This is, let's see, Banana and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds to me is marshmallow perfume. It's a pretty, it's a pretty fragrance. It's pretty, it's marshmallow. It's feminine. It is, this is nice. It's banana Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. That's what this smells like. Not getting too much vanilla wafer and not getting too much cream cheese frosting, but this is nice. Good job on this one. Back rolls, honey buttered rolls, cinnamon sugar, fruit loops, and toasted marshmallow. Now I was a little hesitant to get this one just because I don't know if honey buttered rolls and fruit loops would be good together. But I thought I'll give it a try. Okay, definitely Fruit Loop Dominant. Fruit Loops is such a crazy strong oil. And I haven't bought anything Fruit Loops in a while. I'm kind of, I, my husband loves Fruit Loops. And I loved Fruit Loops too in my earlier wax melting days. And I, I have, I really haven't bought much recently. So this is nice to have another Fruit Loops option. I'm not getting too much... Of anything else it's it's a toned down fruit loops so i know there's other things in here because it's not you know punchy in the face fruit loops like it that is a strong oil so this one is but it's good it it, it, it is i'm i'm gonna have to melt this and see what notes come alive on warm that one is fruit loopy right now getting down to the bottom guys i promise we're at 42 minutes okay i love it when you call me big papa okay <laughs> sugar cakes fat bomb and, excuse me sugar cakes fat bottom girls vanilla butter fudge so pretty simple sugar cakes is the new vanilla blender or vanilla scent that jen created earlier this year Fem, fat bottom girls is another vanilla i don't remember all the notes that's in it and then vanilla butter fudge this is sugar cakes with a little bit of vanilla butter fudge but this is nice this is you could even use this as a blender because it's pretty it's pretty heavy vanilla bakery. I'm not getting too much of the richness from the vanilla butter fudge, which I find can sometimes it can give a scent a little bit more richness to it. I'm not getting that. But the sugar cakes is creamy. The sugar cakes is it's a, I love sugar cakes. It's a great one. Um Fat Bottom Girls is good too. I like Fat Bottom Girls as a blender, but this one is good. It's it's sugar cakes but it's good. Good job on that one. Okay. My last, my last shape. It's my party. Fresh picked strawberries, coconut buttercream frosting, and white cake. Why I liked this one was I'm interested in the coconut buttercream frosting, or I don't know if it's coconut comma buttercream frosting. We'll see. But coconut and strawberry, I haven't really had much of that mixed together. So I thought, ah, I am going to get that one. Okay. 
The first thing I'm getting is buttercream frosting. Buttercream frosting is a little fruity to me. Not like a orange or a strawberry. It just has a fruity accord smell to my nose. And this one, the strawberries, I'm not getting too much strawberry. I'm getting the creaminess of the white cake and I'm certainly getting the coconut. That's good. I like this one. This one is, I'm going to let it cure a little bit more just because it has the white cake. And I find white cake needs a little bit of extra time. Oh, I got two scoops. These are from the pre-order. Lava Colada. This is strawberry daiquiri, whipped cream, cherry slushy, and pina colada. I love scoops. I'm using scoops right now. This is cherry dominant to my nose. First sniff. Let's see cherry dominant sometimes if i smell it with the lid like this i can get more of a concentrated scent i know it might might be me but i'm not getting too much pina colada i'm getting maybe maybe a hint of strawberry daiquiri but but what hit my nose first was cherry slushy i wonder if it's the same uh oil cherry that's in um bill and ted's excellent adventure i love that one love that one and the other scoop I got was Mi Corazon. This is honeydew, watermelon, strawberry sugar, and pink frosted cake. My lover, pink frosted cake. And watermelon. I love watermelon. That is nice. Okay, pink frosted cake. It's heavy bakery. I get the cake part of the pink frosted cake. And I'm getting creamy watermelon and honeydew. These... These are pretty much pretty, pretty, pretty well balanced in here. I'm getting the honeydew, the watermelon, and the pink frosted cake. Yummy. That is fantastic. Okay. Rounding out the end here, I got some more trig bars. Trig tarts, I should say. Sorry. It's allergy season, and I had my windows open today, and I'm probably paying for it later. Seattle rain. I wanted to get a few of these because... I knew that I'm, you know, I'm tapering down on purchasing. So I wanted to make it, make it worthwhile. So Seattle rain, I love, it's fresh, it's clean. It's not as strong as some, like rainstorm, for example. It's not as strong as, uh, what's another uh, rain, it's another rain one. I can't think of what right now. Um, it's, it, it's, it's not headache inducing, I should say. It's nice. That is nice. It's clean. It's, it's very refreshing. Very refreshing. Cinnamon sugar. I wanted to get this because I really wanted to see what the cinnamon sugar smells like. Yep, it is cinnamon sugar. This one, if whatever blend this cinnamon sugar is in, which one was it in here that I could see? I don't remember now. Um, this has a little bit more of cinnamon to it. Not spicy cinnamon, but just the cinnamon smell itself. And the sugar is sweet. I'm going to use this as a blender. Add it in to scents, um, you know, blends I think you can use a little bit of something. Um, that is why I got that one. Irish linen. This sounds like laundry, I hope. So <laughs> we'll see. This one. It almost... Man, that's nice. It almost... It's got a little bit of soapiness to it, but it's clean. It's, it's got something I can't quite put my finger on. But it's different. It's a different, clean, slightly laundry scent. I like that one. Winter Linen. Winter Linen. That's nice. It's, it's like... My favorite, I, I got some laundry stuff because I haven't bought just strictly laundry from Jen in a while. And my favorite, favorite, favorite standalone oil is uh, flannel sheets. And I also like clothespins. Love both of those. This one, winter linen, is not quite as strong as flannel sheets. But it's nice. It's it's just like the the perfect touch of fabric softener because sometimes if you put too much fabric softener in your in your load of laundry, you know your clothes just smell like fabric softener. In my experience, I, <laughs> you know, back in the days, my mom taught me how to do laundry at a young wee age. So 
when I started, when I lived on my own, you know, sometimes, you know, you think you know more than your mom and you don't. And you realize that when you eventually turn into your mom in your 20s and you look back and say, well, she was right. So extra fabric softener is not required or needed or wanted, I should say. This is, this is the perfect amount, I should say. And downy blue. I got downy blue. This one. Mm, that's nice. I don't remember exactly what downy blue smelled like. So I wanted to get this one. This one is not as strong as April Fresh. You know, the, the original downy. This one is nice. I like this. That is good. So that's all that I got. Let's see what samples I got this time. Love my samples. This is a long video, I know. Almost, we're at 51 minutes almost here. Let's see. Okay, Beach Nights. We talked about Beach Nights already. This is a, this is a salty, yeah, it's salty uh, Beach Nights. Uh, it's, I don't care for it alone. I'll use this in a blend. I like it blended with something. Peeps, jelly beans, and sugar cakes. Peeps doesn't smell like anything to me. I, I just, I, I can't get anything out of the oil. I've tried. Jelly beans is, is fruity jelly bean. And sugar cakes is the new blend that Jen created earlier this year. And orange chiffon cake, holiday party, which I'm not sure what holiday party is. Orange chiffon cake, holiday party, cupcakes at Tiffany's, gingerbread, and marshmallow fluff. Okay, sign me up. There's gingerbread in here. I love gingerbread. This is, that's nice. Gingerbread acts, and orange accents gingerbread so, so, so well. So this works. The Cupcakes at Tiffany's kind of gets a little lost. I'm not quite sure what's in the holiday party. But the marshmallow fluff, it's it's creamy. This is nice. This is a good one. So, whew, okay. Almost 52 minutes. All right, that's the end of this video. This is this is my pre-order and the Customer Creations Part 1 Mayflowers haul. Hope you liked this video. I, um, when I get the... Um, the next, the ready to ship from this past Friday, this previous Friday, the 12th, I will do um, that video and then I won't have any calls for a while from L3. So hope you all have a great week ahead. Be safe and I'll see you soon.